what seems like a friendly loving tribute to Habib Nurmagomedov actually provides us with such an important lesson that it has taken some people 40-50 years of their life to learn and you guys are gonna get it in this small video. Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. So as you guys can see on the right that's Habib Narmegomedov when he was fighting Conor McGregor where his hand movements indicate don't praise me praise God. Or it could also be seen as this achievement is not from me it is from God. And here we can see Erlen Haaland and Jack Grealish who play for the Manchester City football team replicating this after they beat Bournemouth a few days ago 4-2-1 and Haaland also got a goal in there as well. So Haaland and Habib Nurmagomedov have also exchanged pleasantries over social media. Habib has called him a beast and Haaland has has sent him a signed shirt as well. But guys the lesson that I want to talk about is based on these two quotes and I really want you to pay attention to these yeah. So the first one is God it's a prayer yeah. God grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can and the wisdom to know the difference. If I could write this in gold, if I could paste it on my intro they could be on every video I would do so because this is a lesson that so many of us fail to understand. The intricacies of the first two points is so vital and the way he just seals it by saying and the wisdom to know the difference because sometimes we don't. We don't know the difference, what is in our control, what's not in our control. And the second principle I want you to bear in mind is do your best, Allah will do the rest. So there is a portion that's in your control, there is a portion that is not in your control. So what do we learn from this? He's saying me, nothing, it's all God mate, it's all God. In other words put your trust in God, in Allah. Well the question now arises in which matters? Well in everything but to realize that we cannot control every single thing although the capitalistic materialistic individualistic society that we're living in tries to trick us into thinking that we can. Hey vote you get to decide who comes in power and does what. Uh, but I voted for the other guy last time. Yeah just didn't come in your favor. We get the feeling that we are in control, we get to decide mate when our food comes, when our deliveries come, even when you go to the shop you decide whether you want to wait five minutes or you don't mind waiting 20 minutes or even that shop that makes you wait 30 minutes. If you do not realize that there are certain things that you can control and certain things that you cannot it's going to affect your relationships i.e. husband wife, i.e. with your parents, i.e. with your children, possibly even with your friends as well because we are under the delusion that when somebody says I love you that's it, you can, you, they, they're with you, you can control them but they have their own mind, they have their own heart, feelings change, different thoughts come in and out of our head and then when we're like yo I thought I had control of the situation, I'm gonna try and have control of why is that person leaving, I'm gonna send them flowers, chocolates, I'm gonna be rational, I'm gonna give them arguments, I'm gonna convince them, persuade them, I'm gonna get people involved but if it's not meant to be my friend then it's not meant to be. Gave the example last time that the Prophet's uncle Abu Talib, the Prophet gave him da'wah but it just wasn't meant to be for him. So let me give you another example yeah, your mother has fallen ill like really bad, Ugh, pain and all that. That, yeah, ambulance those guys are taking time mate yeah because obviously maybe they don't strike or whatnot yeah. So what's in your control? Call an Uber mate. Then go there make a big deal with the doctors however when your mum goes into the operating theatre it is now out of your control. Somebody shared a clip of Bruce Lee when both walls come down and then the guy just sits down. He just sits down because punching a brick wall is not going to do anything, he can't get out of there. So the best thing to do, sit down, recover, get your thoughts together and when those walls lift then you can go. So it's the same when your mum's in the operation theatre, make dua, realize that whatever now happens is out of your control, leave it to Allah because Allah is able to see the picture, we are only able to see the pixel and then when our vision of the small pixel doesn't go according to us because we're very short-sighted we get angry. Why God? Why are you doing this to us? <laughs> However 
that thing is good for you in the long run mate be it in this world or the hereafter however we base things upon our short-term desires and goals but it is Allah who sees the bigger picture and Allah asks us to trust him if you're a good person Allah is the guardian of the righteous if you're righteous Allah will be your guardian if your friend takes care of your affairs and you trust him mate you'll put a blindfold you say never let me down mate he's my friend is this is that when it comes to our parents we trust them if we say mom take our delivery however when it comes to Allah why is it where's the double standards coming from mate so understand and realize the difference between the two all right guys let's leave it there until next time assalamu alaikum